graphing a line by first finding its x and y intercepts. The equation of a line is given below, 2x minus 3y equals 12. Find the x-intercept and the y-intercept, then use them to graph the line. So this equation is given to me in standard form. I have my x and my y terms together on the same side of the equals and the constant on the other side. And if your equation is already in standard form, sometimes it's easier to graph by finding your intercepts than to rearrange it into slope-intercept form and use the slope and inter or find the slope and intercept that way and graph. Um, so to find the intercepts, we use the fact that any point on the x-axis is going to have a y value of 0. Any point on the y-axis is going to have an x value of 0. Okay. So your intercepts are always kind of given away by the fact that one of your coordinates is zero, okay? And it's always the opposite variable. So your x-intercept, uh, the zero will be for the y value, okay? And to find the y-intercept, you will have an x value of zero. So I'm going to look at this equation now, and if I want to find the x-intercept, or the point where I cross the x-axis, I'm going to zero out or ignore my y term. Okay, so just like kind of pretend that that term isn't even there. And if I ignore the y term, I'm left with 2x equals 12. Okay, 2x equals 12. And then you can either just do this in your head, 2 times what number will give me 12, or if you're not good with doing, solving that, equation, that little equation in your head, you can always just divide out your coefficient, divide both sides by 2, and x is 12 divided by 2, or 6. So my x-intercept is at 6, 0, the point 6, 0, or I cross the x-axis at positive 6 right there. Uh, now let's get the y-intercept. So we're going to zero out or ignore the opposite variable, okay? So I'm going to ignore my x term. So I'm left with negative 3y equals 12. Negative 3y equals 12, okay? Um, and again, you can solve this in your head if you can. Negative 3 times what number will give me 12? Or you can do just a little one-step solve of your equation here. So if I divide out the coefficient on both sides and simplify y is equal to 12 divided by negative 3 or negative 4. So my y-intercept is at the point 0, 4, right? When x is 0, y is 4. Or my line crosses my y-axis at positive 4. Once you have those two dots, you can just line them up and hold my ruler steady here, okay? Line them up and draw in your graph.